Okay, um, I for one do not believe you were trying to be prejudiced uh, by talking about, you know, the guy mentioning that the guy was Indian and by saying you didn't know if it was customary among Indians to uh, not bathe as often as Westerners or Americans might do. Uh, well, specifically as Americans might do. Uh, so I, I don't I don't see you as being prejudiced or racist at all because um, standards of hygiene do vary from country to country. Uh, a case in point is that I worked with uh, Bosnians on my former job. I worked in an industrial laundry and when they first came to the country or got to the country their hygiene was definitely not up to the standards of, of Americans and they smell bad, you know. And with it being a laundry or industrial laundry you know the place is already smelling bad enough, but when then when you gotta work up under or near or close to somebody that whose hygiene is not good during the dead of summer, when it's hot, that was just unbearable. So the other workers just complained and complained and complained, and the human resource manager had to just keep talking to the Bosnians until the vast majority of them started cleaning up better or bathing more often. And it was a cultural thing where, uh, I don't know if it was a religious thing, it was a cultural thing where they just wasn't supposed to take baths that often, but uh, due to human resource manager talking to them, I'm on, and I'm sure pressure from uh, their other workers, uh, eventually the vast majority of them did start bathing more often and they, they, they uh, you know, they smelled okay most of the time. But there were a few stinky holdouts, you know, and <laughs> You really didn't want to work with them because they was just stubborn about it. But uh, I, I, I would never really talk about people for, for the way they smell. I, I figure that if you're not willing to try to do something to help somebody, then there's no point in saying something about it. And at least in, in your video, you, you expressed a, a desire or willingness to give somebody a stick of gum or mouthwash or give them whatever. I hope you were serious about that. Give them whatever they needed to, to clean themselves up or, you know, to give them uh, whatever hints and, you know, in, in other ways other than just saying, you know what? You smell bad. You stink. You smell like behind, you know. Uh, I, 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 I realized you were pretty much expressing that you are not ignorant that way where you would just say somebody, to somebody, you stink right to their face, but you try to, you know, slide it in a different way and you did it in a, in a humorous way and and you're just saying or, or you know what a lot of people are already thinking you know that they're tired of dealing with with people that smell bad I mean it's just it's rough you know and I don't know the reasons why everybody don't do it don't bathe as often don't bathe real often sometimes it's cultural sometimes they got a mental problem Sometimes they just are incapable of smelling themselves or being able to tell when they smell bad. And it is true. Uh, if you smell bad, people, other people are more likely to pick it up sooner than you will. So I, I'm sure all in all of our lives, some, at some point in our lives, all of us have smelled bad. You know, probably not on a regular basis at some point and then, you know, and didn't know it. And, you know, and unless somebody like a you know, uh, told us, hopefully in a nice way, you know, we, we might not have known. So I think we've all had our stinky moments, but when people are continuously sleep, continuously stinky, or it just happens all the time, that's, that's just, that's just rough to handle. And God help you if you get on public transportation and somebody stinks. I mean, you're like in confined quarters, and sometimes you can open a window, sometimes you really can't because it might be the dead of winter or something or the air conditioning might be on on, on the public bus or whatever. So I, we've had some, I've, I've ridden public transportation a lot and I've come across some rough situations, you know. And one time a woman said, uh, you know, it's, it stinks. And all of a sudden she was looking around and I said, no, we just drove through a stinky part of the city. But then somebody got on the bus and they were smelling bad. And I said, that's not the city. You know, that's not what I said before. <laughs> and some of my church members thought, you know, that was wrong. But I said that in a way where the person that was thinking wouldn't have known anything. So I don't think I was being uh, uh, mean or anything. And there was even a report of uh, a person getting on a bus, a uh, public bus, 
and they smelled so bad that they had to evacuate the bus. People were sick, gagging and puking and stuff. So it's like that person came onto the bus and they were some type of biological hazard or something. I don't know if they brought something on the bus that was really bad or they, they smelled just that bad. But I, I think maybe they was just that stinky. So until you've uh, run across a situation where a person can evacuate a bus or uh, cause a whole crowd of people to run, uh, I don't think you know what stinky is quite yet, even though you rated it on a, you know, there, you probably had to uh, uh, devise a fourth level for that one. Uh, you know, biohazard stinky or something, BS or something. I don't know, but, you know, that, that was just awful. And I'm glad I wasn't on that particular bus and, and, and didn't have to experience that because that's probably something that years later you'd be like, <laughs> trying to recover from something like that. That's that's like a traumatic experience. It had to be. You get on the bus, somebody get on the bus, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God. And you know, you just crawl, just beating down the door trying to get, oh boy, that was just awful. I mean, they had to call the authorities and everything. They had to desanitize the bus, whatever. Everybody on the bus had to go to another bed. So that's just awful. And I don't know what the cause of that is. A homeless person, mental problem, you know, don't stay sense of smell, who, who knows what it is, but, you know, I just hope that there's people that's, that's like that eventually get it together and uh, stop assaulting the rest of us with unpleasant smells. That's one of those things of life that we just have to deal with. So, God bless you and keep you. Take care. Bye-bye.